The second Earl of Snowden has entered the race for election to the House of Lords. Queen Elizabeth's nephew, the son of Princess Margaret and Anthony Armstrong Jones, is one of the 19 candidates on the 3 July ballot. Embed from Getty Images the 56-year-old David Armstrong Jones, second Earl of Snowden, known as David Lindley Professional, is currently 19th in line to the throne. He inherited his father's title of Lord after he died last year. The July ballot was triggered after Lord Baldwin of Bewdley retired. Currently, when a member of the House of Lords dies or retires, a by-election is held to find a replacement. After Tony Blair's changes in 1999, there are only 92 hereditary peers in the Lords after the rest were expelled. There are only 19 candidates for the ballot, but it was open to anyone with a hereditary title on the register kept by the Clerk of the Parliaments. Lord Snowden is the only person not to release a statement for his reasons for standing and what experience he brings to the table. The previous Lord Snowden sat in the House of Lords for over 50 years after being made a peer in 1961. In 1999, he accepted a life peerage with nine other peers, this allowed them to continue to attend the Lords. Should he be successful in his quest, he would sit as a crossbencher as he has no affiliation to a political party. If he were to be successful, his son would sit as a crossbencher with no affiliation to any political party. The Queen's personal solicitor since 2002, Lord Bridges is another candidate. He is currently a partner at the law firm of Farrer and Company, but is retiring soon. They are also up against the 24-year-old history graduate, Lord Glenn Cooner who will shortly be embarking on a career in the financial services. Adding to his statement, being of an independent mind and spirit I believe I can contribute to the important work of the House. The 31 hereditary crossbenchers are the only ones allowed to vote with the result announced on 4 July. Another election on 17 July will take place to replace conservative hereditary peer Lord Glentoran.